Oh, well, hello. Imagine meeting you here. What are you doing in my bathroom? All you people, get out. Get out. I need to shave. Okay, if you're gonna stick around, you're gonna have to watch me shave and listen to my nonsense. Hi, everybody. It's Friday. It's time to shave. I'm gonna go back to the old game changer, the uh, Razor Rock game changer, but I'm gonna swap out the handle for the Super Neural from the Razor Rock BBS. And I, I used that one last week and I got a very mild shave, but I used a Dorco blade instead of my normal feather. And people were like, well, that might be why, and it's probably the blade gap combination of both. So I figure, what the heck, the game changer, unbelievable, good, simple, effective razor. What if I try it with a Dorco blade? I've only used it with a feather. Let's see how big the, ooh, the sun. Here comes the sun, do 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 Boy, it changes the way everything looks, doesn't it? And if you're watching on a giant screen TV at home in 4K, turn it off. Look at it. Up. You don't want to see every blemish and weird bump and wrinkle in my whole body, okay? All right, so I, I took a shower, did my hair, shining in the sun, and I'm going to lather up here. I'm, I'm going to use, you know, I've got the whole drawer full of stuff here. I just went in and found the old Wilkinson shave stick. Still smells good. It's been unwrapped like this for years now, but it still smells good. Some soaps lose their, uh, their, their, their scent a lot quicker. I think that's the more naturally made soaps. This one, I'm sure, is full of good old chemicals. All right, and we're going to shave, like I said, with the Game Changer, with the Dorco blade. And then just because I keep seeing this on top of my bag of, I need a new bag. My bag is too big for all the stuff I have. Still need to have a big giveaway. I don't know when or how. Kane, North Pole Barbershop, Kane Aftershave and Cologne. It's Christmas in April, folks, from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Phoenix Shaving. I just saw it and I figured, what the heck. All right, let's do that. If you've never used a shave stick before, and I'm sure some of you have, you'll know the routine. Get your face wet, have some whiskers, and then rub that thing all over so that you can see those whiskers. And then grab your brush and you could probably you, I wonder if you can work up a lather with your finger, a, a lather with your fingers. I'm not going to try it now, but that might be something interesting to try, you know? Like if you're, you don't need a lot. Doesn't that look weird? Oh, oh, creeps me out. Oh. All right. And so you put the shave stick back. I'm going to put it back over here, back there, down there in the drawer. And then you get your wet brush. I'm going to use the old solar flare again, also from Phoenix Shaving. Pardon me, I'm drooling. Uh, because I just love the way this looks. So groovy, Harvest Gold, 70s. So check it out. This is what you do. You just put a wet, just water in the brush, and then it activates the soap on your face. Hey, it's like Mr. Wizard over here. I gladly and happily accept the Bob Ross of shaving moniker that somebody gave me years ago. Somebody tried to call me the Mr. Rogers of shaving. I've nowhere reached the level of Mr. Rogers. He's way up here. Bob Ross is also way up there, but I'll take that one. But, uh, <laughs> but I will not be Mr. Wizard of shaving because I'm just not smart enough. Doggone it. All right. Let's see. Oh yeah, we gotta put the blade in. All right, let's unzip the old, I should have done all this before, you know how it works. Fast forward if you like. So here is, now here's the old handle, or the one that was in here was the, the Bulldog. So here's what the Bulldog looks like compared to the Super Neural. Here's the Bulldog, and here's the Super Neural. Now this is also a good one, and they're both uh, like almost exactly the same length. Uh, similar designs, but this one's kinda, you know, got the knurling broken up into some bands. So yeah, I don't think they'll make a big difference, but I do like the super neural. All right, let's do a three piece razor. The game changer, by the way, the point, what is it, 0.84 gap? Is it 0.084 or 0.84? I can't remember. Oh, let me, let me see on here. Do, 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 made in Canada, GC84P. Yeah, so there you go, it's the 8.84 gap. All right, so this one, the only the only problem I have with the Game Changer is I wish that this was over here with these or if these were over here with this, because I like to have them all together. I'll use these two squat little shorty posts on the base of the head to put the blade on. I just wish they were all together because I just like that extra bit of uh, making sure that everything is lined up just the way I want it. And be careful if you're holding a razor blade head like that because it can easily go south on you. Something slips or you forget get absent-minded. Don't get absent-minded if you can help it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Very simple. Very simple, very easy. 
that was there was an old uh, cooking show. I used to watch tons of cooking shows with my mom in the eighties, and we had so fun. And my 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 older son does it now with his mom, so it's really cool. He's really gotten into uh, learning how to cook and stuff. And uh, that was the, the very simple, very easy. I think that was it was either a painter, like uh, it was like Arthur Alexander or something. He was like this. He was like Bob Ross, but he was like a little more strict and stern. I didn't like him as much. He wasn't touchy feely, so. Didn't get so much into him. But he, he always talked about Elizrin Crimson. You got to get on your palate the Elizrin Crimson. And the Passion Blue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the cooking shows I used to watch in the 80s, the great chefs of whatever city. Great chefs of New Orleans, great chefs of Chicago, great chefs of New York. Oh. I remember becoming obsessed with chocolate mousse for a short while in the late 80s in high school. I was in French class. I was watching them make chocolate mousse on these, you know, great chefs of New Orleans or wherever. And I was like, I must have this. I'd never had it, you know, it was 1986 or whatever you said. And uh, my French class went and ate at a French restaurant in the Galleria in Houston. If you know Houston, you know the Galleria, it's still there. It was the really fancy mall like with the uh, they didn't have Nordstrom's at the time but they or nor or Macy's uh Neiman Marcus that's where Neiman Marcus was if you live in Texas you know the long storied history of Neiman Marcus needless markup as they all say all of those wags anyway so French class went to this French restaurant and we got to order like like choose the crepe Suzette or this you know and one of them was the dessert you could choose between like something and chocolate mousse and I got it and ah, still love it. I never have it. <laughs> I think the last time I bought it was at Whole Foods. And if you've got Whole Foods in your city, then you can thank Austin for that because that's where it got started and that's where the world headquarters are. The original Whole Foods building, which is on Lamar, is now a Goodwill store. It's over near the giant world headquarters for Whole Foods. Or as they say, Whole Paycheck Foods. <laughs> All right. Dumb. All right, so, oh yeah, okay. It was the Blade. It was the Dorco. Because after, I think, if I remember correctly, and I don't, after that first pass with a really sharp feather blade in the Game Changer, it knocked it down. So I need to go back and try that BBS Razor Rock again with a, fe fe with a feather in it. With a feather... God, this lighting is so dramatic and weird. I kind of like it, but I need to set up something different to block the spotlight above me. Because what I do is I get a step stool out. And I got this old t-shirt that I ripped up to use as like a, <laughs> a little thing, a little block to let some light in and be lightweight. But I don't want to do that every single time. I certainly didn't do it today, but it was cloudy up till now. So there you go. If you don't like the weather in Texas, stick around 10 minutes, it'll change. Oh, I just, I'm full of these things today. Yuck. All right, here we go. Second pass with the game changer. Still a very comfortable shave. This is a very simple razor. It gets the job done. I think it's about 50 bucks, something like that. You get to choose which handle you want. I think they give you a choice of many. So go check it out. If you're in the market for it, don't hesitate. I'd buy this in a second if I didn't have it and I needed one, you know. I've, I've got a huge amount of, uh, I'm blessed with, with these great razors, the, you know, the, the Rockwell and the Murica and the Sinatra Lennon signature one and the Fat Boys. And so this just joins the bullpen. You know what I mean? Baseball reference. I got a deep bullpen. So this doesn't replace anything, but in the, you know, when I'm in the mood, I need to make a save. Sorry, I've been uh, doing the coach dad thing a lot lately. Got a game tonight, in fact. Had another game last night. <laughs> Little League. I remember when I was in Little League, we just, we had one game a week. I felt like we practiced once and we had one game and that was it. And we certainly didn't have any fancy uniforms like my kids do that look like actual MLB uniforms with the pants and the belts and everything. In fact, I had a picture. I should put it up here. Do you want to see a picture of me playing baseball? in the 1970s in Houston. I got two photos. One is me pitching. And one is me batting. 
and the umpire is my dad. So Papa Sinatra is in there, and uh, I was the pitcher for that game, and I think I've told this story before, and I'll show you the picture during this little time right here. And uh, it was a 3-2 count, three balls, two strikes, like two outs or something, pitched, it could have gone a ball, could have been a strike. He gave me a strike, struck the guy out. Thanks, Dad. I'll always remember that. And that's a picture. That's a picture from that very game. We just wore jeans and whatever tennis shoes we had. We didn't even have cleats most of the time. All right, here's the second pass. Oh, that's much better. Ooh, it's getting there. Yep, still a lot down here, but that's always the case. And see, look, still a lot of soap in here. That's the great thing about a shaving stick. You don't need a brush. Uh, you don't need a brush. You don't need a bowl. You probably need a brush. Get a brush. I'd say get a brush. Um, but yeah, you just need your face and your brush. <laughs> when you're in a rush, grab your face, do do, and your brush. Got it. No. No. Just no. Okay. Third pass. Oh, we got a shout out today. God, I forgot the few times when we were down at my at my mom's house, grandma's house down in Houston. We had a live stream on Instagram, which I didn't know until that day you could do. So I did one in the morning and I did one in the afternoon because we had some downtime. And then I kept seeing this thing as like so and so wants to join the stream. I was like, what is that? There are two people wanted to. And I said, okay, oh, I guess maybe it's someone that's you know will be on the call with me. And so I was like, don't do it. You know, you're very brave. And you're right. I shouldn't do that because who knows who's out there. But you know what? I got a great young man out there. I think, where the heck were you living? It was like the Maldives or something like that. Anyway, his name was Frank's Life. Look at that. I wrote it down on the inside of the Dorco blade. So shout out to you, Frank's Life. Thanks for joining. It was very, it was very brief. It was very, at the very end, um, but that was fun. That was cool. I don't think I'll do that again unless it's someone I know that I can trust. But thank you, Frank's life. Now that I know I can trust you, you're invited back. And secondly, yesterday, now, when I work in the morning, I work downtown, downtown Austin. And I park on the outskirts of downtown so I can get a good walk in, like a 25, 30 minutes, sometimes more, one way, and then walk the same back to my car after work. And so I vary where I walk because I get bored, you know? And exercise, if it's boring, you're not gonna do it. So I walked through this fancy hotel just down the block from where I work called the Fairmont. And there was a, I walked through there and there's a restaurant and there's a coffee shop and you know, a hotel thing, big bar. And everyone in there was dressed in suits. They all look so nice, the men and the women, they all had their nicest clothes on, their suits. And I was like, whoa, this is cool. Because I love suits. I love wearing them. And if you never experienced wearing a suit in public, people, and I said this last time, people treat you differently. They treat you, you know, with respect. So, I don't know. Anyway, I got recognized. I walked through there, past the restaurant, and then I got a comment saying, hey, I saw you walk through the Fairmont today, but I forgot what your, your channel name was, and I was waiting in line to, so shout out to you. I think it was H.I. McDonough. H.I. Great. Raising Arizona, one of the best movies ever. If you haven't seen it, go watch it today, this weekend. So shout out to you, H.I. We do it hard or easy, H.I. Got a baby now. Uh, things are changed. Oh, Holly. Holly Hunter in that is just adorable. I had the biggest crush on her in that movie. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's rinse off, and then we'll do some trouble spots, and we'll have some thoughts. Ooh, very smooth. BBS almost. This is BBS. It's not BBC, it's not CBS. It's BBS. But yeah, the Game Changer from Razo Rock. Look it up online. I'm sure it's out there. You can find it wherever. Wherever razors are made and sold. And I got a couple of nicks. Did you notice that? I didn't mention it, but I don't know why I didn't couple of nicks, nothing too bad. They'll probably, uh, you know, show a little color here in a minute when I'm done messing with my face. Okay. So the game changer still solid, solid, very comfortable shave. Um, this is a good handle. I didn't 
think about the handle when I was using it. You know, it wasn't like, oh, this really stands out as better than the other one. So I think if you choose any of their handles, like, like I said, this is the Bulldog one, this is the Super Neural. So, you know, I don't think you can go wrong. As long as you get one that, uh, that can grip, it's got good grippage. All right, let me, let me wash off here. I still got one. I'm always doing this. Before I put my equipment away, I always check. Measure twice, cut ones, guys. And gals. All right. <laughs> now, with this razor, you can do that. I think it's, it's, it's just good. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. All right, let me dry off. And then put some candy cane on my face. Oh, just then, of course, the sun goes behind the cloud. That's all right. Oh, man. Woo! Hey, I just finished uh, mowing the yard. I had a bunch of stuff to do today. I got a bunch of stuff to do. Got the game tonight. What do we got to do tomorrow? Got some other stuff tomorrow. Got three games on Saturday. Uh, we got a putt-putt party on Sunday. Miniature golf with my company. Oh, my gosh. It's just going to be a wild weekend. Let's get it started off almost. Well, let's get it started off. Let's kick it off with a little cane. Rosebud. All right. Mm. Oh, man, that tingles. Ouch, ouch. Oh. <coughs> oh. I breathed it in and it made me cough. Holy guacamole, what the heck? Wow. Interesting. It was making my eyes water. It's very pepperminty, very menthol y, and it's alcohol based, so you know the burn. You know it, you love it. Feels good. Feels real good. No, it is making my eyes water though. <laughs> ah, well, that was very satisfying. I hope you had a good time. Uh, shout out again to Frank's Life. Thanks for joining me. Shout out to HI. If you guys ever see me in public, just come up and say hi or, or don't. You don't have to. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. You know, it depends on the situation. If I saw my favorite YouTuber out there, I'd try, uh, or celebrity or whoever, I'd never want to be one of those people that just walk. Not that I'm a celebrity. What am I saying? Forget it. If you see me, say hi. That's all. And if you see a real celebrity, don't go up and pester them unless somehow you happen to stand next to them and you go, you mention something that's common interest around you. Like, oh, look at that dog. Isn't he cute? And that's how you start a conversation. Why am I talking about this? I don't know. It's time to go. Time to go. Have a great weekend. See y'all soon. Bye.